As you know, I'm the owner of an iPhone 7 Plus 256 gigabyte. The reason why I need such large hard drives is obviously in order to make these videos that I make and put on my YouTube in order to make YouTube money. What I go to the New York International Auto Show, for example, I'll be able to simply record with my cell phone and my Mophie battery recharger for over five hours, possibly even six if I decide to stay that long. And I'll be able to make the longest video on YouTube once again, like I did last year, of the entire auto show from start to finish every single car. Most other phones can't handle that simply because they record to smart cards like SD, micro SD cards, or they have trouble keeping their processors from overheating and exploding in your hands, i.e. Samsung. But um, anyway, I love the phone and I will stick with Apple for the time being simply because I absolutely love the software, I love the apps, and I love the ability to edit video on the phone without having to transfer it to a computer. Possibly the only problem that I've actually had with my iPhone has been AT&T service. Now, it was easy enough to ignore it, but you got to understand, I've been with AT&T since iPhone 1 back in 2007. When I first got iPhone, it was easy enough to put it on a SIM card and to start using it on uh, what is it? Prepay AT&T's prepay service. But what eventually happened was when you try to start getting data delivery to your phone back then in 2007, AT&T immediately contacts you and says, oh yeah, well you can't have data unless you're willing to go into an unlimited data plan. Back then, the unlimited data plan was about $30 per month and I basically was forced to sign up for it, which, you know, ultimately I understood, you know, if you're going to have a phone like this, yeah, you're going to have to have the unlimited data plan. $30 a month. That's what it was. Now, over time, as some of you know, most of your carriers have started throttling back your service if you start using too much data. Here in New York, Verizon is really the best service you can get. The only problem is any Verizon plan you get does not come with unlimited data typically, and they're going to charge you whatever you're paying. You're going to be paying way more than $100 a month. Some of you are paying closer to 120 maybe even more per month for a single cell phone. I thought that was absolutely crazy. AT&T as you know, is one of the three main carriers we have. We got Verizon, we got AT&T, we got T-Mobile. T-Mobile is the shittiest service I've ever seen. When you talk to somebody, it sounds like they're on the moon. T-Mobile's for children. It's, it's basically there to keep these parents paying somebody for cell phone service for their children when they should be smart enough to just buy these dumbasses a smart track phone from Walmart for like $12 instead of sending them to school with these 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 ridiculous attention grabbers where they're not paying attention in school and they're screwing up all their tests but I digress I would never go to T-Mobile and I probably wouldn't use Verizon, not unless there was some killer deal. And even then, I probably wouldn't go to Verizon. So I basically stuck with AT&T for the time being. AT&T has throttled my service when I've gone over, I believe it was either 10 or 15 gigabytes. My phone easily uses that in a short amount of time because I listen to Sirius XM radio in the mornings with it. And I really didn't care about the throttling because as long as I was getting the service, it wasn't really a big deal. So I look at my email and I get this ridiculous bullshit. It says, we'd like to share an upcoming change regarding your data plan. Beginning March 2017, we'll be increasing the price of your unlimited data plan for each of the lines listed above by $5 per month. You can remain on your unlimited data plan or consider one of our mobile shared vantage plans that could offer great savings with unlimited talk and text and shareable data with no overages. If you choose to cancel your unlimited data plan and you're under a two-year service contract, we'll waive your early termination fee. Just cancel your unlimited data plan. I don't mind being upfront about what my plan actually costs, so I'm actually showing you what it costs. Basically, $39.99 a month for the nationwide 450 minutes with rollover. And I have lots and lots of rollover minutes because I basically use my office phones but then as you can see i have a data plan right here and um basically that data plan's been set in stone since i got my uh, first iphone 
Now, yeah, they have throttled me a couple of times, like when I was visiting Portland, Maine, but it never really was a big problem. As you can see, last month I went over 17 gigabytes of data. These phones constantly push and pull data to the point where it's easy for them to surpass 10 gigabytes in a month, especially when you factor in using apps like Sirius XM. I blew by 17 gigabytes and I believe on average I'm using between 10 and 15, specifically because of the Sirius XM app, also because I like to take pics and video and I send it wherever I am. So basically, is this what I have to look forward to? Every single time they feel that I should be paying more, they're just going to keep on raising the fees. And mind you, I've been in contract with them for a very long time, and I guess because those contracts have probably been terminated at this point, they feel that they can just do this. But it's absolutely absolutely disappointing and the only reason why i haven't left is because even with a five dollar raise i'm still paying less than the vast majority of you who are using similar phones every single month my bill comes out way less than a hundred dollars if i don't use text and i don't use picture or video messaging i easily avoid paying anything more than 85 dollars the only time my bill spikes above $90 is if I have a lot of fun sending text or video messages from some isolated location that doesn't have Wi-Fi. It just hasn't been an issue, but now I'm really starting to get annoyed with AT&T, and I'm hoping that enough of you consumers of AT&T have gotten this message and that you're ready to strike back. I really believe that a class action lawsuit's in order because I'm not sure if they legally can force us into these new plans and make us pay more money just because they're upset that we're using more data on average not always because of us, but because of how these phones and these apps are. I don't think that they should have the right to charge us more, especially when they haven't really shown any major improvements to the network. And uh, basically, you know, I, I'm, I don't know how many of you got these messages, but I'm thinking that many of you probably did because I'm thinking most iPhone users are probably sticking with their iPhone because of the unlimited data plan mostly, or because it's, you know, the best phone you can possibly buy. But once again, of all of my iPhone ownership time, AT&T has been probably the worst part of any of my ownership of this phone. And um, basically, you know, in the long run, I really would like to see another option. But the problem is it's like there's so few options and the others are relatively more expensive. So I, I really think it's time for a class action lawsuit. So, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below.